Out in New Glarus, hundreds of people gathered for a celebration of Swiss independence. They call it Volksfest. And our Merrill Hubbard talked to Swiss musicians to learn more about Swiss culture. Swiss Independence Day is August 1st, and I'm out here in New Glarus where they're celebrating with traditional food, native drinks, and of course, the singing. As you'd expect at a Swiss festival, there are veal broths, butter cow beer, and plenty of traditional memorabilia. Some of these are from Switzerland, some are from North America. What you may not see right away, though, is the history, the Swiss roots that make New Glarus the village that it is today. It's one of the only towns that I know of that can trace its lineage back to a single day. Also known as America's Little Switzerland, New Glarus was founded in 1845 by a group of Swiss settlers. So Volksfest is the staple event to remind people of the heritage. It's amazing that such a small community of New Glarus has such a rich history, both in Swiss tradition, but also in music. So for us, it's just like a great way to be part of the community um, and to just share music with each other and to share music back with our community and keep like Swiss culture alive, I think is so important and so unique to New Glarus. Singing groups of all ages showcase their Swiss skills, bringing people together to show how history comes to life through music. Playing music has just been something I've been passionate and loved my whole life. So when I moved to New Glarus nine years ago, uh, my partner and I, we instantly got into the local music scene and the Yodel Club and the men's choir. To keep the tradition going, Volksfest happens every year on the first weekend of August and all are welcome. So Swiss is my adopted heritage for moving here. So um, it's just something that like our whole community gets behind. We saw singing groups from all over Wisconsin today. So if you want to keep up with them, you can look up their information on channel3000.com. Reporting in New Glarus, Merrill Hubbard, News 3 Now.